How do we solve this radical equation? If possible, isolate a radical. As a matter of fact, both of these radicals are isolated. In other words, they're by themselves on a side of the equation. And next, let's get rid of the radicals. I'm going to rewrite this so you can see. By, since this is square root, we will square the left side and square the right side of this equation. The square root of 3x minus 6, that quantity squared, is 3x minus 6, and that equals x plus 4. This is now a linear equation which we will solve. 3x minus x, if I subtract x from both sides, I'll have 2x. And then if I add 6 to both sides, I'll have 4 plus 6, or 10. How do I finish solving? I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of x, and I'll have x is equal to 5. That is my proposed solution. Now let's check our proposed solution in the original equation. Don't forget, you've always got to check in the original equation. So let's check this proposed solution. Everywhere there's x, I put 5. So 3 times 5 minus 6, square root of that, is that equal to the square root of 5 plus 4? Well, let's see. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. Is that equal to the square root of 9? Of course it is, and we have 3 is equal to 3. So this checks, and the solution is 5.